Okay, they're back. Oh, there's a bear out there too. Helping us out. Nice. Uh, ooh, I hope it doesn't come in here though. <laughs> Oh, welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I'm an old guy, Gaming, and in this episode, we are going to see about possibly getting our diving gear going. Um, so, if I remember right, the big thing that we needed for the diving gear, I think we needed a couple of plates, um, and we needed five padded cloths. So, we should have enough stuff uh, to make uh, the padded cloth. Uh, we've been, you know, planting um cotton uh, as we've come across it uh, so let's make two more of these and you know because of the the derpiness when we left bravo last time and then came back their door was back in place i think we're going to try and take everything with us so we can do it all in one trip now there has been a hunter and i'm assuming it's the bravo hunter that kind of worked his way around uh, along the fence in the water and kind of kept going this way and he was in the game for a few days and now but then he's disappeared so maybe he's finally reset I don't know but I kind of wondered if you know the fact that he was still alive and kind of glitched out is why that door reappeared but uh, yeah um, so that's the plan for that okay so we got our five cloth um, we can actually make two more which we need to for some other things but let's not worry about that right now um, I believe we needed two plates, if I recall correctly, so let's grab two of those. We'll put the feathers back. Now, I don't have any grenades, and I don't have enough stuff to make grenades, which kind of sucks, but I have, a, I have an idea. We've got this claymore. I, wondered, I was wondering if I could set this claymore right in front of their door, point it towards the door, and then shoot it, and see if that would do some damage. Hmm. I don't know, but I did also, you know, uh, I've had a few hunter attacks, too, and... Uh, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to keep showing you guys the clips of those because it's pretty much the same thing, right? They swim up to the base at night. Um, I snipe them from here, or if they happen to get all the way up to the base, they derp out. I come up behind them and, you know, put, put a couple in their head and they're done. Uh, and that's pretty much what happens. However, sometimes they do actually go around the base. And I did have one hunter... Um, actually come over here and lob a grenade up to here, which means we are going to have to... I did repair that, right? Yeah. Uh, we are going to have to, you know, continue our wall around this way too, which is definitely the plan. Uh, but from unless something really spectacular happens, I think um, I'm not going to keep showing that the clips to you guys because you've already seen me do it several times and you pretty much know the drill. Uh, so that being said, we did, we did have a few attacks and I did have a hunter you know, come around the corner here. So what I think I'm actually going to do is why don't we take this claymore and let's just uh, put it uh, maybe right about here-ish. Yeah, let's put it right about here. And then, uh, you know, the next time one of those hunters tries to do that, they're going to get themselves a nice explosive surprise. <laughs> okay, but the bad news is... Uh, we're going to have to pick our way into Bravo's door, and that's going to take forever. It's not going to matter to you guys because I'll cut that part out. But anyway, uh, so if that's what we got to do, that's what we got to do. So let's see. We need to make two. We need two full picks to break down a door. So board, scrap, and cordage. Uh, I got a full stack of boards now, which is amazing. And we have 193 nails, so uh, we can actually do some more building. We, if, if we have time at the end of this episode, we might do that. We probably won't, but, um, you know, if we do, we will, right? Okay, so let's make two of these so we can get uh, broke into them guys, uh, their base. Now, I don't remember what else we needed for the diving gear. Um, I know we need zinc for the tanks and something else, so let's just, let's bring like half of our zinc with us. And, man, I wish I could remember. You know what? Let me see if I can actually look that up online. The only reason I'm doing this again is because just in case it glitches out, you know, when we try and come back. So let me look that up really quick. 
Okay, so um, we're gonna need cordage. So let's just take cordage with us, half of what we got. And we're gonna need three ropes. So let's make uh, one more rope. And that takes another three cordage, so let's just do this. There we go. Okay, uh, so so you need zinc and cordage to make the tanks, and you need five paddock cloth, two plates, and three ropes to make the the diving um, the scuba gear itself. Okay, so we're good to go there. Uh, we've got our our two picks here. Okay, so we're good to go there. We're taking this stuff with us. We got plenty of ammo, and yeah, so let's go make some diving gear off of Bravo's stuff. You know what else I might do? Um, why don't we take a little bit of our biofuel with us, too? Um, just in case we need to top them off a little bit. Maybe we'll take half of that. Okay. Let's do this. Now, um, I'm not sure if, if it was Bravo who attacked us last night. We were attacked by two separate groups. Um, so, you know, if it was the... Oh, you know, the other thing I realized, I, I mentioned, I don't know, a few episodes ago, something to the effect of it's too bad you, you can't upgrade doors to armor them, but you can. I, for some reason, I was thinking you can't, but you can't. So that's something we will do at some point when we get the opportunity to do so. Okay, so let's head on over to Bravo, take them out, and then um, make ourselves some diving gear. Yes, sirree. I'm looking forward to it because, you know, with the diving gear, we can obviously, you know, we can go down deep and get clams and all that, but we can also go into the caves and get crystal because we need crystal for several, you know, end game things. And, and of course, you know, there's good loot down in the caves too, especially when we get to the point where we can go down into the lava portion, which uh, requires climbing axes and the climbing axes themselves require crystal. So those are all reasons why we want to go down there. Plus, it's fun. I love going down to the caves in this game. Okay, let's go up this way. Uh, yeah. Okay, level three bear or wolf. Let's do wolf if we can't get past him. You're level three wolf. Yeah, here. Okay, we'll butcher this guy. Yeah, that other Bravo um, hunter that got glitched out on the other side of the fence. Oh, is he still on the other side of the fence? No, I don't think he is. I think he's just walking around picking stuff up. Okay, let's work our way behind cover up there. Let's see if we can... Oh, you know what, though? He did kind of look like he was behind the fence, didn't he? Where'd he go? He's still behind the fence, isn't he? He's got to be. I, I, it's so hard to tell from this angle. All right, let's run up here quick. We know where their claymore is. Okay, so let's run up here. Yeah, he's still stuck behind the fence. Okay, so there's the claymore. All right. Um, it doesn't appear that there are any other hunters outside the house. Oh, so he must have, like, reset back behind the fence again. Well, at least that's my guess. Okay, well, um, I will bring you guys back in 10,000 years from now when we get this door broken down. Okay, we'll save those two picks for the recycler, and uh, let's do this. Nobody in here, huh? Oh! Okay. That's interesting. They're not usually in that room. There could still be someone upstairs, so let's be ready. Nope, I think we're good. Okay. So 
So, uh, diving gear. Let's see. We want to make ourselves one of these. Um, we need 800 power and 120 mass, but they have 400 mass capability. Okay, so uh, they have a little bit of fuel on there, so let's turn that on. We're going to put our own fuel in there, too, because we also want to turn this on. And we're going to keep it on overdrive because it's, you know, it's, it's mid-afternoon. We don't have all day. Um, and so we need to make sure that we have time to, to get this done. So our highest priority, well, other than looting, of course, uh, their main loot is to get that stuff finished. Uh, they even contributed... That's that guy out there, right? I think so. They even contributed some zinc to our cause here. Okay, um, so... Yeah, the power's going down, but as soon as the mass hits 120... How much mass does this require? Only 20. Okay, so we'll let the mass go up a little higher, and then we'll turn it off and keep this running to get the power back up. Okay, and while we're waiting for that, let's uh, get whatever they have out of here, and let's check the main loot. Um, decent amount of nails, some rifle ammo. And, oh, look at that, a padded cloth and three ingots. You know what? We have enough ingots now, you guys, to... Make our cooking pot. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. Let's, um, we're going to need a hundred, at least 140 mass in order to make one diving, you know, the diving gear and at least one tank. So let's let this get up to 140 and then we'll shut it off and let the power build back up. Might as well let that build up some more um, ash for us. Okay, let's turn that off. And now we just need to wait for the power to build back up to 800, which with this on overdrive shouldn't take too terribly long. Um, yeah, because the sun's starting to, to get low in the sky there. Um, I'm, I don't, you know, I don't want to leave the base just in case... The door thing glitches again so um i'm just gonna sit here then guys and wait for the power to build back up and then uh, i'll bring you guys back at that point all right this is gonna be this is gonna be close um let's make this right now and then we'll let the power continue to build up you, we really need at least two tanks to, to get down and then back out of the cave again. Um, but it is... <laughs> it's getting dark. Those guys are probably going to respawn. And, you know, if they do, we can we can stay in here and kill them from in here. I've done that before. Um, if I knew the doggone door was going to not reappear, I'd, I'd do that deliberately so we could come back and make a bunch of tanks. All right, let's make the one now. And then uh, we're going to need 20 more mass. So let's uh, turn that back on for a second. And how are we doing on fuel in here? Oh, yeah, we're doing fine. I've, I've been putting more, more of my fuel in there, too. So if we can get one more Oh, I see what happened. I was going to say why did that turn off, but it it ran I think everything out of power. All right, let's not Oh. Oh no, that's a moose. It's going to say they're back already. They they are going to show up any moment though. All right. So here, let's uh here, let's just refuel that. I know I didn't really need to do that, but it doesn't matter. Oh, we got plenty of biofuel. Okay, let's turn this back on. It just needs to get to 20. That moose is, like, making me so nervous. Okay, they're back. Oh, there's a bear out there, too. Helping us out. Nice. Uh, ooh, I hope it doesn't come in here, though. <laughs> okay, 
just listening. Did did the bear kill the other guy? I don't know. Okay. All right. So how much? So you know, since since we're already too late anyway, and they're coming, or are here, we might as well stay here and make as many tanks as we can, because you know now we're not in a hurry. All right. So that means that, um, let's let this build up to forty, so we can make two more tanks, and then we'll do that, and then we'll see where we're at from there. Because, again, I mean, we might as well just stay here and make as many tanks as I can carry home or until, you know, the, the fuel, as long as the fuel holds out. Okay, so that gives us 40 mass, so that's two more tanks. So we'll turn that off and let you just keep running in overdrive mode. I'm, I want to say the bear killed the other one. Let's, uh, let's grab this. Okay, let's make another one. I'm going to turn those two cloths into another bandage. Uh, we're in bad shape on carbs here. So we can't stay here too much longer. Okay, and an, a third one. Make those. So yeah, this is actually working out pretty good so far. Okay, now let's um again turn this back on to get another 20 masks going. I mean, if we can walk out of here with four tanks, we're we're going to be doing pretty good. That's that's like two trips down to the cave, if that's all we do, and we don't, you know, go diving for pearls or something. Which actually, I've got quite a nice, uh, decent supply of pearls already. I think we have sixty-ish or so. Okay. We have we have, you know, plenty of materials. It's just the power and the mass that we're waiting on here. So that's to 18, 19, 20, okay. And then we'll just have to wait for this to shoot up to 80 and then we can make a fourth tank. There we go. And then, um, I mean, if we, if we completely run out of that, it's not actually going to be the end of the world. It just means we won't have much stamina to get back home. But, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe we stay long enough to completely fill up our inventory with tanks, then we won't have to come back here for a really long time. Uh, which basically means we make two more, right? So yeah, let's do that. Let's stay here long enough to make two more of these, which means we need this to get to 40. How's our fuel doing? Yeah, it's it's down about 40%. So let's see if we can get 40 mass built up and then make, you know, and make two more tanks. So, I think I'm going to cut the camera here and I'll bring you guys back uh, when we accomplish that and then we'll go from there. Okay, here we go. Number six. So we managed to make scuba gear and six air tanks uh, in Bravo's base. And look at the fuel. It's just about out. So that was just about perfect, actually. Uh, yeah. Feeling good about that, you guys. Feeling good about that. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, we don't want to go that way. We have to, you know, we're... Uh, I bet you... I wonder if that's the bear that killed... Okay, oh shit, we gotta go... <laughs> I wonder if that's the bear that killed killed them last night. 
probably is. He's chasing us now. Let's run back up through here. I was thinking about... I would have liked to have grabbed that iron, but... Let's just go home, man. Let's not get greedy. We've uh, had a very successful um, run here. I think I have wolves and bears chasing me. I'd rather not. Oh, crap. You know what? This is not good because stamina. Oh, shit. Okay, he's not chasing. He's tracking. Let's get in the water. Let's get in the water. Woo. All right, you want some too? Now, since this happened, I just want to illustrate to all of you all, I've heard many people say that if an animal chases you in the water, it's a death sentence. Obviously, it's not. If you have a weapon on you and you stay on the surface, you can still kill the animal. So there you go. Boy, it would be really nice to butcher those animals. Um, well, I'll tell you what, let's do this. Let's come on back. Uh, let's go drop stuff off, and then we'll s we'll see if they're still there when we and if they are, then we'll butcher. So yeah, all you have to do, um, you have you know you have to have a weapon, and preferably a shotgun for this, or maybe a magnum, and just stay on the surface, and then you can still shoot them. You can't shoot them, you know, when you're submerged. So they will get you. Um, in that case. But I went into the water because, A, I knew I would be able to kill them that way, and, B, when you go in the water, your stamina starts to regen. So that's why I did that. Okay, let's get up here. Huge success. Huge success, man. Getting all that gear. Okay, so we're going to put all the diving gear in this chest for now. And then, um, let's see. We'll put that stuff in there. That can go in there. That can go in there. Um, we're going to put... Yeah, we've got full free mass, so we're going to put this in here. And that. And that. We got a padded cloth from them too, which is, that's a pretty rare item to get from the hunters. So I'm really happy about that. We're up to 223 nails, which is fantastic. Probably next episode, we'll do uh, some building. We have six ingots, which means we can now make the cooking pot. So that's coming up. And uh, put this here. Actually, let's switch these out because we need some more potassium there. That can go in there. That can go in there. This can go in here, that can go in there, and that can go in there, and this can go in here. Cool. All right, let's see if... How are we doing on power? Yeah, we're doing really good. Uh, let's see if those critters are still in the water, and if they are, we'll, we'll go butcher them. So they were kind of right off the that point there. I don't know how long their carcasses last. Whenever I, you know, kill an animal in this game, I butcher it immediately. So I've never really paid attention to how long they'll stay around if you don't butcher them. I want to I want to say that I did notice that at one time and it wasn't very long, but I I don't remember. So if they're not there, they're not there. No big deal. You know what we will do though? Is we're going to go back up towards Bravo's base and get some of that ore. Okay, so yeah, it was right around here, I believe, that we killed them. And I don't see them. So yeah, they don't last that long. Okay, no problem. The, you know, hunter backpacks... Those tend to last a while, so the one that the bear killed could still possibly be there. Let's go around this way and avoid that bear. We need a new chicken. Our our current chicken's level 10. Oh, there's a hunter right there. 
Or, oh, okay. No, no, no. Leave me alone, bear. All right. You know what? I, I think we've... <laughs> I think we've done enough for today. Let's just go home. Let's not tempt fate. Let's not tempt fate. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to let you go here. And... Ooh, is that some more up there? It is. Wow, look at that. Three iron nodes together. Fantastic. You don't see that very often. Um, are they all iron? I think they are. That's iron. I think they are. This is definitely iron. And I'm pretty sure this is too. Yes, it is. Oh, look at that. That's amazing. 11 chunks of iron all in one area. I love it. Anyway, yeah, um, so I think that's it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And the plan for the next episode will be to do some more building on the base because we got a pretty decent amount of nails. We have over a full stack of planks. So, yeah, it's time to expand the base further. Um, so, yeah, expect that for the next episode. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. Share out the video. That's a sandstone. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.